Hello everyone, welcome back to Midweek Marines. Today I'm painting something completely different. Now all my time painting miniatures has always been painting Warhammer. Now, today I'm gonna to try something new. So today I'm gonna to try and paint. A quick note while I'm editing, I've just realized I've said painting. I am not painting in this video. This is just part one to a two part series. Um, so I'll just be building, but I wanted to show what it was like building a model that's not just a Warhammer model and what that experience is like, because to be honest, I haven't seen a lot of it on the internet. So this is building Star Wars Legion Boba Fett. Enjoy, don't listen to me, I'm a liar. Star Wars Legion Boba Fett. Now, first thing we've got to do is we have to open the box, which I've already cut them. So let's see what we get. I've never opened one of these before. So they look like tokens. I know a little bit about the game, but not too much. So I'm guessing they're the tokens that we need. Um, that looks like an assembly guide, which is actually quite scary because again, I'm used to making Citadel models. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then I'm guessing, let's read the little bags. We have what looks like a flight stand, uh, a base. Okay. Uh, oh my God, that is tiny. Okay, so we have Boba Fett himself. So I'm guessing from what I've been told, I need super glue. So I've got some Loctite super glue. These don't look like, maybe they do need a bit of mold removing. But I don't even know if you have to wash these, you know, like you do with other, uh, like with resin and stuff. Because I don't actually know what these are made out of. Are these resin? I'm guessing these are resin, surely. Um, but you'll have to let me know in the comments. I'm seeing a bit of difference in quality from uh, Games Workshop to this. Now, I'm only saying Games Workshop because I've made so many models of theirs that I can easily sit here and... Um, compare it now it was what 16 pounds for this 16.99 something like that so i would say relatively cheap compared to the leaders i don't know whether this is a leader i don't know how it plays in the game but um, relatively cheap compared to you know the kind of captains and stuff in warhammer how easy is this to like cut into this is quite a dual blade to be fair so yeah, it's not bad. It it's probably feels a little bit harder than Games Workshop's models. So you know what? In a way, because these look like they've got like screw, sprue marks on them. I'd rather you give me them on sprue and let me cut them off myself. When the time comes, I'll try and implement this into an army. But like I said, I don't actually know anything about the game right now. So we will see let's put it together but just not on the flight stand so i'm guessing this head's going on there it doesn't look right but i guess that must be right let's um let's put a bit of glue on i'm only going to put a bit on because i don't actually not really use super glue for model making so i don't know the um See that, that to me, there's loads of glue coming out. I'm guessing you don't want that because it will go all cloudy from what I've seen online. But do let me know if you enjoy uh, this different format of video because this will take me, this will be so much quicker for me to edit and sort of get out so that I can keep getting more and more content out to you guys. Yeah, that's not, I don't know whether that's enough. We'll see. Maybe I just need to cut like, I, I, this might be really stupid. Okay, that cut like freaking butter. But butter, that cut like butter. Is that, no? Oh, that's so much better. Okay, maybe if I just have problems in the future, we just sort of cut and regroup. It's worth experimenting on this one rather than potentially ruin ruin expensive models you know yeah we still got a massive gap can you see that yeah. oh well oh well we'll just put together we'll see we'll see where we're at 
Uh, maybe I'll do that last because it looks quite brittle. So does this fit? Not yet. Okay. Ooh. So that fits like straight in. So I'm just gonna put. You might be absolutely having a go at me for my gluing technique with this, but I don't really care. As long as it goes together, I'm okay. Okay, cool. I'm just going to use the corner of this bag to sort of get rid of any bits that we don't want. Um, let's not put backpack on. Let's do the other leg. I have a feeling this is going to be horrible to paint. And I say horrible to paint just on the fact that like, it's just going to be difficult for no reason. Like for the fact that it's just so small. That's moving again. Okay. That's, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's the best you're going to get. When you're not melting plastic, you don't really get a choice, I guess. That is a lot. That's going to come from... Uh, yeah, a little bit. So, that was building little Boba Fett over here. Now, I have put him on a little sprue, just ready for painting. If you have enjoyed this sort of video, please let me know, because this, if I can do videos like this, it means I can get them out a lot quicker, um, and there's less editing and nitty gritty stuff to do. So if you did enjoy it, let me know. Make sure you like and subscribe, give me feedback, let me know what you want to see. That would be great for engagement. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. If you like this one, go check out some of my other ones, and um, I'll see you in a few weeks. Bye.